Hey, I'm Erica Arnold and I'm the program manager for SmartAmp and I'm going to show you how it works right now. So what I've done is I've pulled a student into my space and you can imagine that there'd be a whole class of students that I could pull in and they are actually able, you're able to start with um, the students following you if that's how you'd like to do more direct instruction, maybe to set up an activity. So for example, right now the students are following me and if I zoom in, or pan, they're actually going to be following on their devices whatever I'm doing. So I might want to give some instructions um, and in this particular activity we're doing a chemistry unit and what I want is for the students to go off and do some research and then work together to complete some activities. So I'm able to embed web content, web links, images, so on and so forth into the space and even for subscription services like Discovery Education I can embed the content, the students can open without a secondary sign-on. So you can imagine a class with 30 kids. You don't want to have to be reading out usernames and passwords. You just want them to get right to the um, content. I can embed video right into the space. You just click to play. And you can resize the video. You can even go to full screen. Uh, but something that's really interesting is that you can continue to work in the space even while a video is playing. So if the students are watching the video and they want to be taking notes um, on what they're hearing, they can do that. Just pick up a pen, um, start taking the notes. So I could be listing out the uh, components of uh, a firework just while I'm listening and watching. In order to add video, uh, you just go to this second tab here. Sorry about that and do a search. So I can search again on our same topic. And even if I want to evaluate do I like this video or not, I'm able to preview it right in the space um, and then select to add it. We also have a filter for Khan Academy. So if you're doing a flipped classroom model, you can embed the um, videos right into the space this way. So let's just say I want it this one. You click add. And this could be yet another resource for the students to uh, review. So currently the students are still following me and I'm sequencing through the space using a bookmarking tool that we have. Um, but if I saw something I liked, say there was a group working together and I really wanted to model that out for the rest of the class, I'm able to pass control to individual students at any time. So I'll do a pass control. It's going to bring up any of the students that are in the space. And I'm going to pass control to Alicia here. And she's now driving. So maybe she could add a photo to the space. There you go. And so we can see what she's added. And I can at any point end or pass to another student. Um, when I put end, then the students are back following me again. What's interesting about when you do add images to the space, if it's something from our embedded web search, we actually append each image with the source so that students know and practice good digital citizenship. We also have um, assessment tools right in the space. So Alicia here could answer questions along with the rest of the class and I'm going to get an update on the progress and know when I can stop. I can even check the progress per question to see how many are answering. <laughs> Once uh, I can stop at any time, so let's just pretend that the students have all finished here. Once I stop the assessment, I am able to click and get a report as well as the students. So the students will get their individual um, uh, results versus the class average and the teacher of course gets absolutely everything. And you can even drill down to exact questions and use it as a study guide to see how you did. Something else is the ability to actually insert and embed notebook content. So let's just say we just taught this unit on chemistry and you want the kids to have the class notes for review while they do the activity. You just embed them into the file and they can flip through and review. And finally, what you might want to do is group students off to work together. So say the project doesn't finish during class time and you want them to finish at home. What you would do is just hand out copies. You can pick to individuals or to groups. You can say where you want those copies to save into your Google Drive. And you can decide, 
automatically, groups of two, it'll set it up for you. And then you're able to just drag and drop students around if you want them to, you know, be paired <laughs> according to ability level or seating arrangement or anything like that. Once you hit handout copies, they're each going to be grouped off into their own copy and working away, and you've got it automatically handed back into your drive. So that's SmartAmp. Hopefully we have you all trying it soon. <laughs>